a joy youth under the edges of the movement for the survival of Aizum ethnic nationality in the Niger Delta. Musiend has called on the federal government to set aside the 1999 Nigerian constitution saying it is faulty and does not represent the wishes of various ethnic groups. It said the way and only way to stop the constant agitation and clamor for justice, equity and fairness in Nigeria was to initiate a referendum for the people to decide how the federation should be run devoid of, of oppression and suppression of the minorities. National President of the Mosian, Kendi Tonjo West, made the assertion on Wednesday at a town hall meeting to commemorate this year Isaac Adaka Boro Remembrance Day celebration with the theme navigating our ways out of the turbulence in this perilous time. He described Boro as a visionary and a detribalized Nigerian who fought for the emancipation of the minorities in the Niger Delta. Tonjo West noted that the Kayama Declaration further re echoes Boro's vision as it concerned minorities' rights and natural resources, ownership, and promoting the ideas of restructuring, adding that a Nigerian that seeks to protect the rights and dignity of every Nigerian, irrespective of tribe or religious stance in the yearning of the people. He urged the federal government to commence the implementation of 2014 Constitutional Conference recommended by the overhauling the Constitution of Nigeria rather than engaging in fruitless constitutional amendments. He stated, we are gathered here to celebrate a hero, an enigma, an activist, a father, an excellent student, a teacher, a detravelized Nigerian, a soldier, a police officer, one whose vision is to is the protection of minority rights, is still resonating across the world, making many wonders why they refuse to listen to him. Many ethnic nationalities who felt Boro was then overzealous are now awake to the reality and neck deep in the call for the equity and justice of the minority people. The Kayama Declaration further amplifies this vision as it concerns minorities' rights, natural resources, ownership and promoting the ideas of restructuring. We categorically state our belief in the oneness of Nigeria that seeks to protect the right and dignity of all irrespective of tribe or religion. Nigeria is fast nose dividing. We cannot guarantee our tomorrow. The first duty of any government is the safeguard of lives and properties that we have completely failed, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. Our politicians and leaders should make rooms for change, not as we have at the federal level. They should know that if today Nigeria is torn apart, none of these monies they arrogated to themselves will save them. Nigeria right now is sitting on a keg of gunpowder. The leadership of this generation has not led well. We have leadership deficits.
the Mosien boss called on the governors of the South South to give direction by setting up its own security outfit as done by the other southern region and expressed worries that up to now the South South is yet to take the bold step. What is your say on what has been said? What is your reaction to this? What do you think can be done when we have this kind of challenge in a country? We have had the Ijo youth under the edges of the movement for the survival of Aizen ethnic nationalities in the Niger Delta, the Mosiend, who have called on the federal government to set aside the 1999 Nigerian constitution saying it is faulty and does not represent the wishes of various ethnic groups. What is your say to this? What is your thought about what has been said? Well, before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see their own point of view about what has been said. Guest quickly reacted to this and said that suppression of other nationalities is built inside the 1999 constitution. That is why its unjust implementation has heated up governance. This could continue to make the country ungovernable until true federalism is restored. How could Nigeria forget so quickly the pre-1960 Lancaster House Agreement that led to our independence? Nigeria's independence was negotiated through dialogue. Another dialogue is due. When dialogue fails, tensions must rise. A simple law, not too difficult to understand. We have heard what guests have said about this, that what is happening in Nigeria is just another call for dialogue. He said, how could Nigeria forget so quickly the pre-1960 Lancaster House Agreement that led to our independence? Nigeria's independence was negotiated through dialogue. Now another dialogue is due. When dialogue fails, tension must rise. According to guests, he said that is what has happened in Nigeria. Dialogue, you know, probably might have failed in Nigeria. That is why the tension has continued to rise in Nigeria. What is your say to what has been said? What is your thought about this? Adeboye Shahid also reacted to this and said, Good, what we want is referendum. We have heard what Adeboye has also said about this, that what we have said is good. And he said that what we want is a referendum. What do you make of what has been said? I would like you to drop your thoughts on what has been said so far. I'd like you to drop your reaction and thought about this. I'd like to know your own thoughts about what has been said. I would like you to drop it in the comment section. Don't forget that the Ijo youth under the edges of the movement for the survival of as an ethnic nationality in the Niger Delta, Mosiend has called on the federal government to set aside the 1999 Nigerian constitution saying it is faulty and does not represent the wishes of various ethnic groups. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.